Hi everybody, this is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Friday, April the 19th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, the Mueller report is out there. You can get it online, all 600 pages of it. Uh, and I think for most people, uh, is, there's no collusion, and all this stuff about obstruction of justice is extremely gray. It's uh, very difficult to prove anyway, and I think for most people, it's time to move on. And you can see it in this latest Gallup that came out. You know, Gallup and other organizations, but Gallup is the one that I've seen more doing this for the longest of time. They ask people what the main issues are. And this time around, the main issues are immigration, health care, and the economy. Immigration, health care, and the economy. Not the Mueller report, not the Russia investigation, not investigations, but immigration, the economy, and health care. And I think if the Democrats go off the rail here, with investigating President Trump. Not only are they going to re-elect President Trump, but they're also gonna find themselves in a situation where they're totally at odds with the majority that put them in, in the House. Most of those so-called moderates were not elected to impeach Trump or to investigate Trump. They were elected because they were talking about health care, they were talking about working with Republicans, and they were talking about going to Washington to get things done. Well. That's not going to be the case if all they do is investigate Trump. So, you know, I don't know what the Democrats are going to do. I think they face a serious internal dilemma. There's a wing of the party, which is where all the money comes from, which is where all the energy is. And this wing of the party wants to bring down Trump at any cost. And then you have, I think, a more reasonable wing of the party, like the number two in the House, uh, Stoney Hoyer, who basically said, look, from the information, I'm paraphrasing, but he said from the information that we got in the Mueller report, there's not enough here for impeachment, so let's move on. And I think a lot of Democrats, the leadership of the party understands that if they get into this impeachment trap, they're basically gonna tie down the Congress for the next year. They're never going to remove President Trump because he's never gonna get the, the two thirds vote in the Senate. But on top of that, they will probably put a lot of these so-called moderates at risk who are gonna have to go back to uh, re-election in 2020 saying they couldn't do anything because they were investigating Trump. So I think it, for, the, for the good of the country, I think it's time for the Democrats to simply hold it back a little bit and start focusing on getting something done. Now, can they do that? I don't know. Again, the pressure that comes from the left is so intense in the Democrat Party right now. I mean, you can see it in the candidates who are running for president. And all I can tell you is if the Democrats want to have four more years of Trump, then they can investigate Trump. That's all I can tell you. More investigations of Trump will translate into more years of Trump, as well as very likely the loss of the House in 2020. And I, I don't know how else to say it other than that. So it's time to move on. The Mueller report is in. It's time to move on. And let's try to get some things done, like immigration, like health care, and whatever we need to do with the American economy. Thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.